Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm back with a, another top 10 songs video. Today we're doing Stephen Wilson, one of my favourite artists and founder of one of the best bands and one of my favourite bands, Porcupine Tree. I'm sure you obviously know that. I've already done a top 10 Porcupine Tree songs, so I'll link that if you want to go and check that out. But today we're just going to be talking about Stephen Wilson solo music. There's definitely lots to choose from. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below your favourite Stephen Wilson songs and let me know what you think. And these aren't really in any particular order. I think maybe the top three, but um, for the majority, they're not in any particular order. And also, if you live in the UK, you will know that it is absolutely stifling, boiling hot at the moment. So I apologise for my sweaty appearance. It really is so hot. Climate change is doing a number on us all. Okay, so first of all, in 10th place is going to be Stephen's cover of the Cardiac song Stone Age Dinosaurs. And I don't really care if you think this is cheating because it's my list. And obviously I know it's just a cover, but I really did just want to mention this song because I just think it is such a fabulous song. It was on an album that was, um, it was a tribute to Tim Smith and it was used to raise money for him after he suffered a stroke. And Stephen has spoken a few times about how much he loves the Cardiacs and they're obviously quite special to him. So he really did do the song justice. I love how it's really different to the original. I actually heard this, the cover version, Stephen's cover version before I heard the original. And I didn't really know too much about the Cardiacs, but my dad is a huge fan. And yeah, I think Stephen does a really good job at putting a nice spin on things but kind of keeping it like respectful and true to the original and I listen to it all the time I think it's so good very stripped back at the start but then it gets a little bit more sort of grandiose towards the end and I'm just a big fan next up at number nine we have the song significant other from Stephen's first album insurgents if you've seen my Stephen Wilson worst the best album video then you'll know that Insurgents isn't my favourite album of his, but this is one song that I really do love from that album. I think it's absolutely stunning and it's a really underrated bop. I actually don't hear a lot of people talking about this song. And I also think that this song sort of encapsulates everything that Stephen does really well in his music. It kind of sounds like it could be a Porcupine Tree song. I feel like maybe it could have been on Deadwing, which I guess kind of does make sense because Stephen was still in Porcupine Tree when this album was like recorded and released. So this does feel a little bit like a Deadwing era song, but still with some of the solo Stephen Wilson sound that he would later go on to develop in his later albums. And I just think this song is really beautiful. The vocals are really soft and sweet. I love the way it opens. It's very calming. The opening guitar melody just gives me goosebumps as well. And I just love how this one fits in the context of the album. So... Yeah. Okay, so for eighth place, we're skipping forward a little bit and I'm going to talk about the song, a song from the Future Bites, Eminent Sleaze. I know this song gets a little bit of hate and the whole album in general, I suppose, gets a little bit of hate, but I, I'm a huge fan. The opening bass line just gets me so hyped and I really just love how the bass is what drives the song. I think it makes it really unique, especially in the verses when it's basically just bass and vocals. I also really like the lyrics of this song. The whole premise is just quite funny to me. I especially love the bit when he sings, when I move, I'm slick, nothing ever sticks to me. The whole thing is just very, very catchy. And if you listen to Stephen's podcast, The Album Years, this is the um, like the theme tune for it. So you'll probably have this song constantly in your head like I do after I've listened to the podcast. It's very addictive. And I also just love the rhythm and just the whole song just makes me feel good. So in seventh place, we have a song from the album Grace for Drowning and it is Deform to Form a Star. This song was absolutely love at first listen for me. I fell in love with it the first time I heard it. And obviously I still love it now. I really can't get enough of the piano. I just think it's gorgeous. And I think sometimes you just can't beat a good old piano and acoustic guitar combo. It just works so well. It does a really good job at highlighting the vocals and the way everything just sort of meshes together so nicely. It just, it's flawless in my opinion. There's also some amazing guitar solos on in this song and I'm not sure if they were played by Stephen or not. I'll have to check, but anyways, I'm a fan. It makes the song much more of like a journey and an experience to listen to. But honestly, I have to say that my favourite part of the song is when things really switch up in the last, I think it's like the last two minutes of the song. I do have to say that I wish this bit went on for a little bit longer personally, but the whole song is great. And this end bit is just so cute, this bit right now. <laughs> love a good Stephen Wilson do 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 section. So in sixth place we have got 
what I'm gonna call a banger, um, People Who Eat Darkness from the album To The Bone. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I absolutely adore the album To The Bone. And this is obviously one of my favorite songs from it. I just cannot get enough of that opening line, I live in the flat next door and I can hear you fuck your girlfriends through the wall. Like, I just love that. So iconic and such a good way to open the song. And this song just kind of gets me dancing around the kitchen like a maniac, like it's very, upbeat fast tempo and once the drums like come in and everything just gets going it's just great and i'd actually love to hear this song with gavin harrison on drums i love the energy of the song i love the concept behind it i love the lyrics and it always gives me a little dopamine hit when um stephen sings we want you to ignore the people who eat darkness from next door it's just a proper banger and it really speaks to the sound that stephen was experimenting with onto the bone which as i've said i am a huge fan of and honestly i think it's still one of his best upbeat songs that he's ever released. So in fifth place is going to be the song Ancestral from Hand Cannot Erase and I'm pretty sure this has to be on everyone's list. Everyone's top 10 Stephen Wilson songs list has to have this song. Everything about it is so good. It's absolutely flawless. I love this song so much. I think Hand Cannot Erase is Stephen's greatest work and I could easily put every single song from that album on this list. Um, they're all amazing but I think there is just something very very special about the song Ancestral. I think it's just because it has so many different sections. It's very proggy which of course I love. It's very well thought out. It's, it's literally just a timeless classic. The guitar solo at around four minutes is literally like a David Gilmour guitar solo. It's so smooth and just gorgeous. The mix on this album is obviously great but this song just seems elevated from all the rest. Like it's so crisp. It was just like it was made to be listened to with a good audio system that's why i love listening to this one on vinyl also i love the live version from steven's home invasion dvd concert thing i would absolutely love to see the song live hopefully that can happen one day and i have to say i just love how the song ends it's like it's like building the whole time and then there's just this massive climax this bit right here <laughs> Love it, obsessed, gorgeous. Um, okay, so in fourth place, we've got a song that used to actually be my favourite Stephen Wilson song, like a few years ago. And obviously I still love it a lot. And it is the song Drive Home. An absolute dream of a song. There are no even words for how like just gorgeous and beautiful this song is. It, I can't even explain like how it makes me feel when I listen to it. It's just completely beautiful. There's no other way to really describe it. And one thing I love about this song is how the opening 10 seconds really just sets the song up for what it's going to be. The guitar tone blows me away and it just gives a taste of how the epic guitar solo that's going to come later in the song. And I think most people agree that the guitar solo is the best part of the song. It really just steals the show. It's so melodic and so effortless and a big reason why the song is so great. And I really love the strings. I think they're a great addition to the song as well. And it just makes it all that more epic and grandiose. So... Yeah, there we go, another amazing song. Okay, we're entering the top three now, and in third place is another classic from Hand Cannot Erase, First Regret slash Three Years Older. So obviously this is the opening track to the album, and I've just realised actually that all of my top three songs are opening tracks from Stephen Wilson album, so maybe you can guess the next two. But clearly he does opening tracks very well in my book. But yeah, this song is a slow start at, but once it gets going, it is amazing. The vocals are definitely a highlight for me. They're very sweet and melodic. In regards to the instrumentation, it's definitely very proggy. There's definitely some Rush influences, maybe even a bit of King Crimson. And this is definitely one of those songs that appears a lot simpler than it actually is. And if you listen really carefully every single time you listen, you'll notice new things. I really enjoyed the vocal harmonies, which are kind of Stephen's thing and he does really well. And the way that the guitar comes in at this little bit here is just like music to my ears. <laughs> I don't know why I use that turn of phrase. <laughs> so in second place, as I said, it's another opening track. Um, and I'm going to talk about the song To The Bone from the album To The Bone. Obviously the title track of the album and an absolute underrated masterpiece if you ask me. More people need to talk about this song because it is absolutely incredible. I love this song so much. <laughs> I listen to it all the time. It's one of those ones that if it comes on, I can never skip it. Like I would have to listen to it if it came on shuffle. For me, this is definitely the best song on the album. Uh, I love the spoken word section at the start and how it just sets up the whole album and it builds really nicely. And I love the addition of the female vocals in the chorus. I think the, um, the two vocals sound really nice together and 
the whole chorus is just so catchy. The melody just gets me going and I don't have that much else to say about this song apart from, um, I think I've got to mention the sort of switch up at the end of the song, I'll show you because it's just the best part of the song for me. <laughs> That whole end part, it just makes me feel like I'm swimming in the ocean. I just love it. So here we go, time for my number one, drum roll. It's Luminol from the Raven That Refused to Sing album. I feel like it kind of had to be this one. It's technically up there with one of the best songs ever written. It's so layered, it's ridiculous. I did actually speak about this song a bit more in my um, favourite progressive rock songs video. So go and check that out if you want a bit more detail. But everything about this song is absolute perfection to me. It is the perfect prog song. The way it opens with that bass, wow. And this song definitely needs to be played at full volume. It's so fresh and modern, even though it takes inspiration from 70s prog. Definitely influenced by bands like Camel, Jethro Tull, obviously Pink Floyd. So there you go, that is my top 10 Stephen Wilson songs. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as I said, please leave your um, song favorite songs in the comments and I will see you guys very soon for another video.